Welcome back guys, this is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I've got another portable showcase for you featuring M0 XDC. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we jump into the showcase, I've got to give a shout out to Dwayne. He's my latest patron over on Patreon. If you guys would like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So it's been a while since I've been able to bring you guys one of these portable showcases and I'm excited to be back to this series today. If you want to see your portable setup featured here on the channel in the future, go ahead and shoot me an email, mycall at arrl.net, and I'll send you over some guidelines and we will see about getting your setup featured in the future. And I want to say thanks to Derek, M0XDC, for submitting this rig. Let's go ahead and start taking a look at a few of the images that he has sent over to us. This image here is of the case, uh, the small case that he uses to house the entire kit. Once we start opening it up, you'll see that it's got an MCHF QRP rig. Now, I've kind of seen these uh, around on the internet a little bit, but I'm really not too familiar with them. So I did go ahead and look those up. Kind of a cool looking little rig here. Uh, and I'll leave a link to this page. Uh, it's m0nka.co.uk. But uh, kind of a cool looking little rig here. And here's some of the feature highlights listed on this page. So it looks like it's a five watt power output. It'll cover 2 through 30 megahertz. Looks like CW, single sideband, AM, and FM. So kind of a cool little uh, thing. If you guys want to jump over and read a little bit more about this, it is a kit, uh, I believe, that you do have to assemble or at least partially assemble once you've ordered it. But I will leave a link to this website down in the description underneath the video. Digging a little deeper into the bag, it looks like he's running the Elecraft T1 uh, automatic antenna tuner, and that one's good up to about 20 watts max. And then, of course, he's running our favorite little Raspberry Pi computer, uh, along with uh, my build a Pi build. And then we can see some other little miscellaneous cables and whatnots over in the mesh pocket off to the side. A few other little bits and pieces that he's got uh, included here in the case. We can see the uh, GPS unit here. Now this is not uh, his primary antenna, but it does give him the capability of putting together a quick dipole if he wants to do that once he's in the field. Uh, I don't believe he sent us a picture of the antenna, but he did say in the email that he uses a six meter fiberglass pole uh, with a vertical and a 9 to 1 unun, along with about a 10 meter counterpoise. So here's a picture of the station fully assembled. You can see the radio there, the Raspberry Pi that he's got the GPS uh, already connected up to. And then this guy back here is a battery box. And I think we've got a couple of more pictures of that here in a second. I do believe that's a homebrew project that he's put together and it is a 9 amp hour SLA battery. This photo here shows the Nexus 7 second generation tablet that he's using to control the Raspberry Pi. So he's running the hotspot on the Raspberry Pi and then VNC between the tablet and the Raspberry Pi. There's a bit of a closer look at that uh, battery box. Now, I, I could be mistaken, and he didn't say uh, in the email, but I do believe this looks like a homebrew project that he's put together. Uh, so really nice looking case that he's put together for that. There's a bit of a closer look at the radio. So it looks like we've got uh, incoming power over here on the right hand side. I'm not sure and I can't tell from the photos what this connector is. Of course the antenna's over here on this side along with one other connector. And I believe this one is going to go back to the Raspberry Pi. That looks like a USB connection probably uh, for the sound card that's built into this radio. So quite a few features on this little radio. And just a bit of a closer image of the Raspberry Pi. So you can see obviously the GPS hooked up here, the USB that's going to go back to the radio, and it looks like he's feeding power to the Raspberry Pi 
using the uh, USB connector. And finally here, a screen capture of uh, him. Looks like he's working FT8 in uh, this image, but that's a shot of the tablet showing the Raspberry Pi screen. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.